Polls indicate that around 28% of Americans make up Donald Trump's base and they're immovable. They will support him no matter what. So what do they have to say about his policy of taking children away from their parents at the border? Now, many of these people consider themselves pro-life. They want to force people to bring pregnancy to term. They believe in family values. So do they support this policy? I don't know. Take a look. These people that we have coming across the border illegally or breaking the rules. Oh, I have no feelings for them at all. Now, when you have a bad guy coming across, kidnapping a kid and trying to come across, I don't buy that. How many of these do you think could be bad? I don't really know, but uh, there's a lot of people being hurt by bad guys coming into this country. Quit trying to make us feel teary-eyed for the children. Yes, I love children a great deal, but to me, it's up to the parents to do things rightfully and legally. <laughs> okay, uh, quit making us teary-eyed about the kids because we're oh, not. <laughs> are we? Are we inconveniencing you? Yeah. I'm sorry. Are we inconveniencing you with with images and videos that you don't want to see? Yeah. Are we making you feel maybe a little bit guilty? I mean, I don't know. I, I would be shocked if there was even an ounce of guilt in any any of these supporters, right? But yeah. like, so you're gonna justify this anyway? But she cares deeply for for children. She really does. Um, but she's like, but stop trying to get me to f care about them because I don't. <laughs> um, so the guy said that uh, these people that we have coming across the border illegally are breaking the rules. I have no feelings for them at all. So I'm not making it up, it's not hyperbole, you heard it and that's the direct quote. I have no feelings for them at all. So look, you can separate out two different things. This is really important guys. So you can say, hey, should they be coming here? And what, what do we do when they're here? So for example, you can say, hey, look, I, they shouldn't be breaking the law to come here. And if we allow everybody to come here, then the country is gonna be swamped and, and, and it's gonna be a free for all. You should apply for immigration in the legal way. That's a leg totally perfectly legitimate thing to say. In fact, the great majority of the country agrees with that. And, and you can say, hey, when they get come here illegally, we can have a debate about how long they should be able to seek asylum, what facilities we should put them in, etc. But we shouldn't have a debate as to whether we should treat them decently as fellow human beings. You could wanna send them back and you could say, hey, they don't get to stay here, that's fair. But if you then say, I'm not only gonna send them back, but in the moment that they're in America, I'm gonna treat them as cruelly as possible. That's what makes you a bad guy. You see what I'm saying? Like, so I could agree to saying, hey, you know what? They should stay in a facility for X period of time until we adjudicate whether they're legitimately seeking asylum or not. And if they're not, they gotta go back and that's fine. But I will not agree to treat them monstrously while they're here. That's not what we do as Americans, or at least that's not what we used that to is, do. Uh, I don't know, man, we're America. Look, but it's I embarrassing. Those those people in that video embarrass me. They make me feel a, a level of shame that I've never felt before. And, and I've told this story before. If you're a member, you probably heard it in a post game or in an old school episode. tytcom join to become a member. Get all those uh, great progressive shows. But uh, my dad, when he came here in the 1960s, was treated wonderfully, wonderfully. America was so open and inviting. They took he managed to go to the White House and meet JFK within a couple months of being here. This family that was wealthy took him and my mom to vacation with them in Miami for a week. They were a young Muslim couple that came here. They, America was so wonderful to them, that's why part of the reason why we love this country. So it is different. Unfortunately, we've gotten worse, not better. We have a bunch of people sitting in what looks to be a lovely diner uh, <laughs> that would normally wanna join them in, going like, hey, what do you want me to care about kids? I don't care about them, right? That guy talked about how, oh, hey, when I was 16 years old, I got a uh, fine for uh, swimming in a lake I shouldn't have been swimming in. Yeah, that's not the same thing. Yeah. It's yeah. just really not the same thing. And and then uh, MSNBC Stephanie Rule was interviewing uh, a pastor, Bill Sutton of Trinity Baptist of McAllen, Texas. And he said, uh, when asked, hey, well, do you agree with this stuff? Because to be fair, some of the evangelical leaders do not agree with it. Even Franklin Graham, who 
I honestly can't stand, said it's disgraceful what we're doing to the kids and the families, right? But this pastor, no, no, what Trump says, it's, it's gotta be right. So they asked him why, he said, quote, blind faith is how you have to trust the Lord. I can't, I can't with this guy. But wait a minute, okay. Trump is not the Lord. No, for him, for him, but, Trump but they, is the Lord. But they, yeah. it is, yeah. so then they, so a Rule pressed him on it and he said, uh, uh, she said, it's different, elected officials and, and the Lord are two different things. He said, but they are ministers of God for the righteous. I don't believe any person is in any office that God has not allowed to be there. Is that how he felt when Obama was in office? I could be wrong, maybe he really did feel that way when Obama was in office. But I would, I would venture to say that is not the case. And how can you prance around as a priest while your dear leader is doing something incredibly cruel to innocent children? So, I mean, come on. So that's a great question as to whether these pastors were saying, hey, look, God put Obama into office, so we shouldn't say anything against them. That's not how I remember it. Uh, but extend that logic a little further. Anyone who's in office, God put him there. Anthony Weiner, God put him in office. What are you gonna do? Why, why are you getting on him for sending pictures of his genitalia to, to, uh, to young girls online? Remember, God Jake, put him there. Blind faith. Blind faith in the blind Lord. Faith. And the government agencies are the righteous. Wait, I thought you were against big government. But, oh my God, by hmm. the way, like okay. let's get politics out for, for one second and just focus on the words blind faith. That is, that is one of the dumbest concepts I've ever heard in my entire life. Yeah. Uh, just putting that out there, blind faith. But the reason the right wing in almost every country goes and gets the votes of uh, the ultra religious, whether it's Muslims, uh, in, in 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 Turkey, for example, that vote for the right wing leader out of blind faith. Uh, it, whether it's the evangelicals in this country that vote for right wing leaders in blind faith, and and it goes on and on. It applies to almost every religion. Uh, Hindu nationalists and and fundamentalists that vote for right wing leaders in in India. It's the same all across the world. Why? For people who don't use logic, it's super easy to trick them. You just say, hey. I'm your leader, you must have blind faith in me. And they go, oh, okay, I operate on blind faith. So, okay, if you say so, then I'll give you everything. <laughs> I mean, look at the irrationality of this. North Carolina evangelical pastor Mike Perdue said, quote, on the same issue, it's the parents, the parents who bring their children to the border to violate the law. So it's the parents' fault, not the government for taking the kids away from the parents. So I guess by that logic, I mean, Jesus Christ violated the laws of the land at the time and he got crucified for it. It must have been the Virgin Mary's fault. Did I'm using your logic, okay, because he broke the government's laws. That's why he was crucified. And so who's responsible for having a lawbreaker like that? It must be the Virgin Mary, no. it's her fault. So hey, don't blame anybody but the Virgin Mary for Jesus getting crucified. Were these individuals as passionate about the rule of law when their president defrauded students with a fake unaccredited university and then had to pay a settlement of $25 million? Did they feel passionately about the law then? Did they feel passionately about the law when it was discovered that their president used his own charitable foundation to pay for his own legal settlements? Did they feel passionately about the law then? They don't feel passionately about the law. They hate people who aren't white, plain and simple. They don't like the immigrants. They don't want them in the country. They don't care how cruel they need to be in order to get rid of them. That's that's who they are. That's who this pastor is. That's who you know the people in that video are. That's who they are. It's just plain and simple. They don't care about the other law breaking. But on top of that, they proved that it was about race when now they're saying take away legal immigration whether it's naturalized citizens, whether it's people with a visa lottery, or even family immigration. That is the most common way to do legal immigration. And these right wingers say, no, we do not want them in the country, even if they come in legally. It is unfortunately about the race and about hate. And I'm pretty sure that wasn't Jesus' message. These pastors might wanna read the Bible a little bit more carefully. Two easy ways to follow the Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below, uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.